Hey, what's up guys? It's Marquita. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some things that I received from Tombow and Bloom Daily Planners. They are doing a cross promotion this week and I'm excited to show you everything that they sent out to me. But first, if you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing and you'll also give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. So let's jump into these products, guys. If you want to see everything I received, make sure to stay tuned. So once again, Tombow and Bloom Daily Planners are doing a cross promotion. So I received some products from Bloom and some products from Tombow. And so in this video, I'm going to show you everything I received. And then I'm going to do a plan with me in a future video, show you how some of these products can be used. Although I'm not typically a hand letterer, I am trying to get into hand lettering. And I love the markers that Tombow sent me. I got to choose everything that I wanted for the most part. And so let's jump right in and I'll show you what I received. So first and foremost, from Bloom Daily Planners. So again, it uh, wasn't that cool how it just slid into frame. It was like, you do this one first. So again, they allowed me to select from some stickers that they had, a planner that they had, and something else that I believe is an accessory. Um, and so I'm going to show you the three items I picked up. But first and foremost, this is the fitness stickers. These are the fitness stickers. It's bloomplanners.com. They are also on social media. As you can see, the back here tells you all the stickers that are included. This is the Fitness and Healthy Living sticker pack. So it comes with six sheets, two glossy, two write on, 400, 480 stickers. So I'm gonna show you each page. And I thought I would do a plan with me and my fitness planner this week and show you guys how I would use these stickers. So cute and very functional these are definitely functional and i know we won't be going out doing any classes or anything but i have signed up for beach body on demand and so i'm going to be doing some workouts from home with my family and so that should help a little bit and that maybe that will just kick start things because as you guys know it hadn't built, been really uh, successful for me in terms of working out so that is the right on sheet and this was the glossy the other two were glossy that's right on this is glossy these are really cute and I love how the wording is like inside of the cups and the fruit and I like how they have incorporated that. So I, I think this is really, really cute and functional. And then this one is glossy as well. Push yourself, mind over matter, just start high five, make yourself proud. Meal prep, I love the font there. And then this is right on. Really cute, love it. All right, so again, stay tuned for a plan with me because the cross promotion is all week. And then at the end of the week, they are gonna do a huge giveaway. So stay tuned for that. So I'll put all of the details below in, in uh, terms of where you can pick this up if you want. Bloom has a ton of sticker sheets uh, and lots of functional, lots of decorative, lots of kits like this that you will surely love. So I picked this one up because I just thought it would be fitting and I thought I could do a plan with me on my channel for you guys. So next up, I received this planner. Again, I did choose everything I wanted and I thought this was so cute. Look at the, not the pattern, but look at the iridescent cover. I thought it was, it was just gorgeous. So I definitely had to pick it up. It's got these little metal pieces on the outside covers and the coil is silver and that's the inside. Isn't that even cuter? I love this right here, very pretty. So let's do a quick flip through. Bloom Daily Planners, January through December 2020. How will you bloom this year? That's really cute. A personal mission statement that you can write. And then a letter from the founders on the left. Uh, Kaylin Munich and Michelle Askin are the co-founders. And then there's important dates here on the right hand side. 2021 a year at a glance. And then plan to bloom in 2020. Top five goals for the year, um, things to look forward to, new things to try, books I would like to read, places to visit, things to improve upon, things to be grateful for, goal tracking on the right hand side, 
be inspired, love yourself, outline a vision, organize priorities, make it happen. And also, as you can see, there are tabs here for the months of the year, January through December, and like a rose sort of color, like a, I don't know, like a chalky peach sort of color. Hard to describe, but very pretty. And then we have our weekly schedule template. Oh, I like that. So you can use this to write in a weekly schedule, two pages. And then you've got your idea week. So that's cool. I like that, your ideal week. So what time would you want to go to do your daytime routine? What things you would like to do? Your evening routine, your weekend routine. I like this a lot. Monday through Sunday. Um, it says visualize a perfectly balanced week for yourself. What does that look like? Document your daily and weekly recurring habits and to-dos here. I like that. And then monthly tasks over here. A habit keeper. And then you've got two pages of blank paper. Well, actually more. <laughs> Things to do. I like this a lot. I probably, if I use this, I would probably cut off this and take it out of the planner probably and punch it. I don't know, just all about the disc life, y'all. I'm trying to get over that because there is lots of good stuff for coil life too. So I don't know, we'll see. Or maybe I'll do a giveaway because I do have my planner pretty secure for this year. Contacts pages, uh, website logins, and then we get to January 2020. So weekly priorities at the top. Then you've got a calendar there. Of course, we are not in January any longer. Then you've got your days of the week here and there. So this is kind of like a horizontal layout. So that is January. There is no cover pages in terms of like a quote or anything like that. It just goes right into the month. And when you, you know, select the month that you want, it's gonna open you up to that first page of the month. There also is not a monthly. I'm just noticing that. So if you are a monthly person, just take note of that. And I'm pretty sure if you uh, look on their website, they may have something for you if you are a monthly planner as well. But I feel like a lot of people are getting into just weekly planning and they may not necessarily use their monthly. So that's April. So again, it's pretty much just get right into it sort of situation. So this is the end of April. So let me just do a full flip through because I want, oh, actually, hold on. May has a monthly. Let's go back. Maybe I missed something because that is interesting. Or maybe because they, no, there we go. What am I talking about, y'all? Yes, we have monthly. So this is how the monthly looks. I don't know how I missed that. How did I miss that? Okay, I know how I missed that. Okay, back, back, back up, girl, back up. Okay, so this is the January monthly. As you can see, the color blocking is on Sunday and Saturday, and it has a little calendar up here in the left-hand corner. It has a plate for notes and ideas. There is a quote there that says, through our strength, we compete, but through our weaknesses, we connect. Heidi Swap. that's really cool. I like that Heidi Swap um, quote. And let's see, is, are all the quotes from like, no, I was gonna say from Planner Girls. <laughs> and then there's a February 2020 calendar here at the bottom and it is um, dated with the holidays. So that is already here for you. And so I apologize for that. I am just getting ahead of myself. And so let's look at February. Yep, so we do have monthlies. That would have been weird if there wasn't monthlies. I was trying to make it work. <laughs> and talk about the positives of that, but it really would have been weird if there was no monthlies. So this is April, and again, there's quotes at the top of each one, and your March, the previous month, 2020 calendar, and then the next month, 2020 calendar. So I like that. And so I wanted to show you guys the end of the month just so we can see how it ends. Are there any just additional pages or any things we should take note of? Now it looks like it just goes right into the next month yep so let's look at the end of the planner and see if there's anything in the back how does it end all right so here's the ending page a notes page on the left on the right hand side important dates for next year i like that how i bloomed in 2020 the most memorable moments nicest things i did new things i tried most important things i learned best places i visited best books i read things to improve upon things to be grateful for i like that a lot very cool and then this is how the page ends and it's just so pretty and it's compact so just to compare it to size this is the half letter size and this is the size of the bloom planner so it is a little bit smaller and i'll compare it also to mini happy planner 
So this is a mini happy planner. So mini happy planner is a lot smaller than this. So as you can see, kind of the size is side by side. So it's in between a half letter size and a mini size. So it's actually a really good size. So I think it's really cool. It's really cool. I like the prompts. I like the color of the cover. I like the cover of the inside. It's very neutral, which I really, really like. So I thought it would just give you a comparison just so you could see scale. So that's next up. First you saw the stickers, now the planner. Then I'm gonna show you one more thing that I received from Bloom. Again, I got to pick everything I wanted. This isn't everything that they have on the site. They have a ton of things on the site, so you definitely wanna go check them out to see what all they have available. Okay, so I had to get a wall calendar, a hanging wall calendar, because I hadn't picked one up from the Happy Planner. And this one, um, it just came right on time, and it has marble. Look at that. It's so pretty with the pattern there. So it's got like rose gold. It says Bloom 2020, December or January through December hanging wall calendar. And then it's got marble at the bottom. So you, you already knew I was gonna choose that one. That's how the back looks. Those are the different months. So it's not completely neutral like the cover is, but I was okay with it as long as the outside of the cover was neutral. So I can just keep it closed. So it matches with the decor. And then I could just flip up to the month that we're in. So I'm gonna do you a quick flip through. It's kind of long, so it's definitely longer than the Happy Planners count wall calendar. Their calendar is more wide. It's more like this. So it's kind of the same, it's just this one's a different um, orientation. All right, so you're not gonna probably get to see everything. So the cover's not like a hard cover, it's like a paper, just regular paper, just like the pages are. All right, so that is January. So as you can see, it starts Sunday to Saturday. It's pretty much the same sort of layout as the planner. So you've got in your corners the previous month and the next month. That says some years are for growing, but this one is for blooming. It's got all the, the holidays in there as well. And then that's the pattern for February. The patterns are really cute. And of course the color blocking on the weekend. And then that's March. And that's April, I love April. That's May. June. July, that's really pretty. August with your cactus. September. That's really pretty. It has gold foil in it too, by the way. Gold foil, we love gold foil. And that's November. Again, gold foil. And then December. Lots of gold foil in December. And then let's see if there's an additional page. Nope, oh, that is it. And nothing on the other side of the page, just blank. So that's the wall calendar. So I'm gonna hang that up in probably here in my office somewhere. And I'll show you guys how I use this as time progresses. So that's the, sec the third thing that I received from Bloom. So again, stickers, planner, wall calendar. So that's the Bloom part of this whole showcase. And so now let's get into the Tombow part of it. All right, so I'm gonna pull everything out of the envelope. So first and foremost, I got the Tombow Mono Drawing Pencils. You guys, I used to think I was gonna go to art school. I'm not like that great. I, I think I was better probably in my younger years, but I really, with us all being quarantined and everything, wanna get back into some art and some drawing. And I think Addison is pushing me for that too because she loves to draw and she loves to color. And so I thought that these would be great for that. I didn't get to pick any of the Tombow stuff. They told me that what they were gonna send as a part of this whole uh, collaboration with Bloom Daily Planners. And so this was one of the items. So each pencil is different in some way. So I'm gonna do probably a video showing you guys the difference in these pencils once I really get into my art mojo. But I used to draw a lot and I wanna get back into it. So that's pretty cool that I received these. And then next up, I received these Twin Tone Pastels dual tip markers. So I did wanna open these just so I can show you guys how they work. 
All right, so let's do a quick pen test. My Filofax notebook with the marble cover that we love. <laughs> okay, so dual tip. So that's the one side. That's the tip on one side, as you can see, it's very thin. And then this is the tip on the other side. All right, so you've got two options there. So we'll do a quick pen test. And this fits on the back of here, which is cool, so you don't lose the top. That's really pretty, peachy color. I like the way they write. I hope you can see that. I probably did not pick the right one to test with, but we can test with another one as well. And then this is how thick the other side. I like this side. I like a good chunky marker. So that's really cool. Let's see if it bleeds through. Nope, does not bleed through to the other side, which is awesome. Let's try a darker color. Yeah, I like this. It's very smooth. Tombow has great stuff anyways. You guys already know this. So this is called Tombow Twin Tone. So that's how the gray looks. And let's see the other side. Nope. So we're good to go. So I'm not going to do every single color. I just wanted to kind of show you how they work. They are pastels. So I'm assuming they have them in different colors because this is called pastels. So I would think they would have them in other shades. So these are perfect to do some artwork. So I'll probably be doing some things with Addison. We've been doing a lot of art lately. And so I have a feeling she's going to make me drag these out. And I've been kind of you know, holding off because I had to wait to do this cross promotion. Uh, it's this whole week, they're doing a motion. And so I wasn't able to show her this, but I knew once I showed her that she was gonna ask me to pull them out so we can use them. So now we can do some more artwork. We did a Tombow project last night. They have Tombow boxes, which another one will be launching soon. They, they launch all the time and they have different projects in them. So we did the butterfly from this past month and she really, really enjoyed that. So I just thought I would show you guys a pen test. And actually, let me keep this open because I received some other markers as well. Now I'm bummed because I can't find the page. This notebook is so cool, by the way. I don't know if I showed this to you guys, but it's, it comes out like that. I'm pretty sure I did. This is a, such a cool notebook. I love this. And the fact that it's marble just makes my whole life, right? So this is really, really cool. So while I'm here, I thought I would show that to you. So let me put that to the side because I'm gonna show you the next thing, which were my favorite. So I'm glad I got to choose the color. I did get to choose the color. I thought these were so pretty, right? It kind of reminds you of that cloth and paper um, of her card that she has with the Tombow uh, dual tip on it. I believe that's what she has on there. And it, I think these are the colors she has. Very neutral, very, I don't know, sophisticated looking. I just really, really love this color palette. So I have a ton of Tombow markers, by the way. I am like all about Tombow, I just don't really use them that much because I'm trying to figure out how to hand letter. I did do some practice last night and I feel a little bit better about it. But look at the colors. Oh my goodness. Like, yes, 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 yes. We love the colors. So they have a ton of these colors. So they've got these. I have a whole bunch of Tombow markers because again, I am an ambassador for Tombow. So they do send me lots of things. So I'll be doing a giveaway soon because I feel like I have so much stuff that I may not use. I'm probably not gonna give away these. I'm definitely not giving away these. And then I have some other markers I'm not giving away that are Tombow dual tip or dual brush pens. I have some stuff I'm gonna gather up and probably do a giveaway with because my craft room is getting out of control. And so let me just do a quick test. I'm just so excited about these. So again, if you've never seen these before, that side is like that. And then this side is the actual brush letter pen part of it. So I'm gonna write my name. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm still a newbie trying to learn. And I just think I don't practice enough. I do a lot of full hand lettering, but I'm starting to get the idea behind it. I just have to practice more. So the idea is whenever you're going down, you go thicker and when you're going up you go thinner so I have to work on my pressure you see I'm trying so 
So that's as good as I can do for now. I think I'm getting better. I'm definitely getting better. So tell me what you think. I don't know. Did I do a good job? So yeah. So I love these. So I'm going to keep these on my planner caddy. I've been waiting for them to be opened so I can use them. So let me show you the colors. What am I doing? I'm so excited about it. All right. So again, pretty colors. Black self-explanatory and then that's how the other side looks so you can write you can do full hand lettering with one side and do the real thing with the other side completely up to you that's the light cream color so pretty let me make sure you're in frame so you can see this because it's just really pretty all right and then this is the other side and this is like i wonder if they have name this is 800 so they don't have names. See how light that is? That's really pretty. You can use it for like highlighting. So you don't have to be a hand letter. Just use it for different things. Okay, this is 977. Because I'm pretty sure you can maybe buy these independently. So if you want to know the name of the color, but they sell them in that pack and it's just best. I think they just get the whole pack. So you can get all these beautiful colors, very neutral. All right, I think I told you what color that was, right? That was 020, this one's 942. And this one is 969. And then this one is 772. I think this one's gonna be my fave. Yep, that one's so pretty. It's like a rose sort of color. Rose, I don't know, like a, it's hard for me to describe this color, but I love this color so much. And then this is, what is this? Y'all, I never know what this is. What is this, y'all? Let me look on the package because I always see this and I never know what it is. So now's a fine time to learn what it is, right? I don't know because it's not the the um, watercolor pen. So I have to do some research and figure out what this is, y'all. Because there's no color. I don't know. If you know what this is, let me know because I have no clue. <laughs> it's clear, so... All right, so that is the pen test. As you can see, all the colors are super gorgeous. So pretty. And I have one last thing, and then that's it. So thank you to Tombow. They were very generous in sending all this stuff for this cross promotion with Bloom Daily Planners. And I can't wait to really dig in. All right, and... Lastly are the Tombow Mono Drawing Pins. They have so many pins and markers at Tombow, y'all. I mean, the selection of options are endless. All right, so this one's 0 0.5, this one's 0 0.1, this is 0 0.3. So let's do a quick test. Oh, wow. I think I have some draw, uh, Mono Drawing Pins. I believe so. Okay, this is 0 0.1. Wow, this one's super thin, but I like the way it writes. Okay, and that's 0 0.1. This is 0 0.3. It's gonna be a little bit thicker, but not much. And then this is 0 0.5. I like 0 0.5. They're all pretty similar, but there is a difference, and I'm, I'm sure you probably could tell that from the overhead view that they are different so those are the mono drawing pins and then above that again were the Tombow dual brush pins which we all know and love and then again the twin tone pins were on the other page which I lost the page to should have probably done it on all the, the same page and then also the mo mono drawing pencils so I'm gonna sketch something out I feel like I'm in the mood to sketch something out not right now <laughs> not right now but I'm going to sketch something out and post it on Instagram. So this is the Bloom card. I didn't show you guys that came with the package. So it just tells you all the stats about them. Tombow didn't come with any sort of card or anything. But you guys already know. Well, actually, hold on. 
I'm getting ahead of myself. It came with this card just for the mono drawing pencil set, which tells you all about it. And um, so that's it. So this is the cross promotion, Tombow and Bloom Daily Planners, which is awesome, guys. I'm really excited about this cross promotion and about doing some projects soon and using all of these fabulous products. So I thought, why not come on and share with you guys? So all this week, I think my videos are going to be using these products. So stay tuned. Make sure to tune in and then also be in tune with Tombow and Bloom Daily Planner's social media because I'm not sure what they're giving away. All they told us is that it's going to be a huge giveaway. So you definitely don't want to miss that. So you want to make sure that you're there so that you can enter the giveaway. Stay tuned for my channel on social media because I'll be giving away some things as well. I have lots of things stockpiled that I really do need to give away. Otherwise, they're going to go to waste like that planner would probably go to waste because I already have my planner lined up for this year and I don't want it to go to waste. I want to give it I want to give it to someone who could possibly use it. So this is everything that I received, guys. I am going to next film a video doing a plan with me using these stickers. I'm really excited about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is video one of this whole week of Tombow and Bloom Daily Planners cross promotion using their products, showing you guys how I would use them in my planner, um, decor and setup and plan with me's and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll leave all the links below. Let me know if you have any questions and hopefully you enjoyed it so much so that you will consider subscribing to my channel. You'll come back and and you watch another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.